Hey guys, Computerosis here, and it's just me, and I'm going to be continuing the Jack 2 Let's Play of Hero Mode, and we have just reached Act 2. I've done a few of the challenging missions in order to uh, fill up the rest of the uh, memory in my camera. I have took care of those videos, so now I have some more memory on the camera to do stuff. And while, while this is recording, I'm actually uploading some parts, because I'm trying to finish this game in about a week. And try to upload as fast as I can um, uh, before I end up starting up college. Uh, for those of you who haven't realized, um, uh, my youngest cousin, named Pending, I think, uh, spoiled the fact that I, that I graduated high school. And I'm about to start college in about a week. So I have to finish this game up. Game up. Uh, get together with my uh, my friends, Saw the South Fan 2, Hyper, Hyper, uh, Hieroglyph. AKA the Coes, Coes, and do more uh, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut since the previous time we met, we did Tales of Symphonia. But of course, not that many people you actually know about it, though, unless you've been keeping track of what's been on my channel. But if you're just watching this Jack 2 Let's Play, didn't forget I ever said any of those things, unless you're curious. So anyway, let us begin. Act 2. Whew. And it's dark. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, we know. Anyway. I need to figure out where I need to go. I haven't played it for, what was it, three or four days, so I'm already far behind. Okay, I need to get to play, so. Okay. Ooh. Sorry about that. Wait, what am I sorry for? I'm sorry for no one. Yeah, take that crimson guard, you. Yeah. So anyway, um, during this time, just preparing, um, I've also been uh, rewatching uh, some of my DVDs. I rewatched Exosaga, and I finally threw out the one thing that I hated about the series was the fact that the main character Exo, her voice changes in the second half, which. Eh, it's going to be my biggest gripe, but it's not that big of a gripe. Um, that gripe is about as big as... as my gripe of Naruto Shippuden. Um, why don't just Naruto kill Sasuke, feel sorry for himself, and then regain his faith and become the next Okage? Oh, and if you haven't noticed, my screen is actually very dark. Like, or maybe that's just where I'm sitting at. I'm actually playing this in the daytime, actually, so... I did it before when I first started it, but... You know... There is a... there is a... somewhat of a contrast difference. Now go through. That's it. Now let's talk to Torn. Let's see. Uh, kill a whole bunch of Chrism Guards, still Hellcat Crew. You know, standard graphic novel stuff. A dangerous young man with light hair, blue tunic, and a rabbit horn track on his shoulder. Uh, oh. Good evening, anyone. Are we the new practice season? Look, we hmm. climbed up to the Baron's That's palace, interesting. and we trooped a few alarms. Oh, yeah. Right, right. I didn't authorize to strike them. Hey, we kicked the Baron's ass. Yeah. He ran away, like, screaming. We overheard a secret meeting with the leader of the Metalheads. <gasps> Uh oh. Uh oh. Corn's Corn's getting a little bit shook up. Something fishy about him. The Baron is riding the metalheads with ego. It will never be enough. But the Baron's gonna double cross him. Is that so? Oh. He could use that to his advantage. Charlie must have angered someone because there's word from the man that Matt. Happy for all that Corn's Leo the metalheads. If you watch these cutscenes again, you will realize how. How deniably core is now he leaves little hints as to who who is true who he truly is, which is weird. But it's kinda cool. It's it really is cool. Oh right. And so begins the picking up people and dropping them off type of mission. That happens again twice in Jack Free. Only it's during the wasteland, so. Well, well. Show 
get in, bro. Really? I have not noticed. Oh, you're right. They are everywhere. <sighs> Sorry. I, I just find this mission to be a little bit boring to me. I mean, it's the beginning of Act 2, and we do an escort mission? I mean, I don't know. Not, not the same type of action I'm looking for. No, uh, unless, like, my escort starts pulling off, like, a, like, a gun out of his pocket and starts, like, shooting everywhere, then this mission is just not, not my thing. But then again, this is hero mode, so anything can happen. I feel good. So far, they're not really doing that much to me. Then again, I have to pay attention to the time, but then again... Eh. The only way you'll fail, basically, is if, for some reason, you're too busy trying to avoid the criminal guards to realize that you're trying. And drop two off, then you can die and fall off here. Dodge Hey, have any of you guys seen this uh, anime series called Speed Graphic from Foundation? Hey, I need to get out of the vehicle. Dude, shut up, Phil. Oh, 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 dear. Uh, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Quick, get in before, well, they try to destroy this vehicle. Anyway. For those of you who have seen Speed Grapher, um, I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but I, I gotta talk about something. I can't just be all silent all the time. But for those of you who have seen Speed Grapher, um, you should consider watching uh, Ren. Ren, it, <laughs> trust me, it's, it's a lot more, uh, sexually for, well, uh, I'm getting out of this vehicle, getting in this one. This is my third vehicle out of the chase so far. Would be the next person is just right around this corner. I mean, I know that Chris about to try to chance, but really. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, Grant. You guys can see that series if you, if you like Speed Rapper, if you like Ninja Scroll, if you've seen that series, then you should totally like Grant. Grant. It's risque as speed grapher, it's grotesque and violent as Ninja Scroll, and it is just awesome. This is the last person to drop off. Remember I said that um that I've died or failed every single mission? Yeah, this is one of them. Luckily I'm not too worried. Wait, is he driving on the road? Yes, yes I am. Until now. Sorry, I need to get there. I could just take my sweet time if I want to. Okay, you can, you can get out of the vehicle now. Okay. And yes, I'm in the vehicle. Okay, that's good. Well, right now I'm in a burning vehicle, and uh, hmm, I could say it could be in better conditions. So. Oh, and for those of you who are complaining that I haven't gone to owning uh, I mean the uh, Oracle yet, don't worry, I will go there later, or I'll go there before I get to the Mountain Nest. So anyway, there's not too many actual things open. Ah. Yeah, pretty much the beginning of, uh, pretty much uh, since we're in Act 2, I don't remember as much, because, uh, unlike with Act 1 where I've been there multiple times, both because of the fact that most of the time I've never finished this game, Act 2, not one of the things I fully remember 
everything. You know, I've beaten this game three times. So, it, it's not like I have a full memory of everything, including dialogue and actions and missions and stuff. Well, this thing's gonna be exploding myself. See ya! Thanks for your vehicle, man. Uh, I'll give you back to you later. Uh, I don't think Jackie Chan ever gave any of the things that he called. He's like, thanks, I'll bring you back, thank you! And then he just does not bring it back. I don't know if it's demolished or, or he just leaves it back. Uh, unless there's like a parody vehicle where it, where it does bring the stuff back, but it's like barely in mint condition. He's like, what the hell, man? I mean, you just you pretty much just stole it without my condition and you bring back to me and almost like chuckle? What happened? Jump to a button that will get whatever creatures moving toward the sacred site just before. What happened there? Oh, yeah, what happened? In the old city wall. We fought them, but then the barrier pulled back, oh, leaving course. everyone outside the new barrier to die. Only the shadow state that somehow stopped the attack. And now you expect us to go out there again? And catch you on mass. If you prevent the metalheads from reaching the sacred site, the shadow will be most grateful. You might even ask to see. Ooh, hey, cool! You probably waste on this. But here's a fucking barrel for that pea shooter of yours. Believe me, okay. you're gonna need it. Well, we don't really need it because I already have that. Plus, we have infinite ammo, so we're pretty much okay. Yeah. So we acquired the Vulcan barrel, and but we already had the Vulcan barrel. So, which makes that statement very wrong. I don't know. I I think in some cases they just made hero mode out of a whim just to put an extra difficulty, and didn't bother trying to, like, re-edit some of the stuff that's happened. Like, for instance, like, in the cutscene where Dax was saying to Jack, he's like, yeah, I got you new friends, and I got you some, uh, few weapons, apparently, that may come in handy. I, I know you, I know you're not used to using weapons, I mean, the most you ever used weapon-related was using Red Eagle. Yellow Eco, but um, I'm pretty sure it's just Yellow Eco that you can carry around and I have really learned up. Sorry, I just ran down. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to the right place. Yeah, I'm going to the right place. Oh, oh. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go, again! Let me just get this out of the way right now. Um, I should have said this in the of the video. If you're watching this because you're going to see me get every single Curse Orb, this is not the right Let's Play for you. If you want to see this just because you like seeing Jack do Let's Plays, hey, this might be good. But if you're watching it just to see how the challenging missions go, since apparently every single Let's Play you see has never even, like, done this or something before, then you came to the right place. Okay, for some reason they built this little edge area here. Usually I go to this mission at night. I just realized it. I've never been I've never been this way in the daytime before. It's actually cool. And of course when my peacemaker on peacemaker growing hot, eh, these baddies are just nothing. And I don't think I can go and build it. Yeah, I know, there's nothing there. Until now! Oh, it's going dark. Then again, we already have enough to get everything that that Dark Jack has to offer, including Dark Bomb, Dark Strike, and and invincibility. Oh, yeah, right.
good thing he doesn't shoot right. Sorry, I'm just searching. Here's the worst. Like I said, I didn't, re I didn't memorize uh, Act 2 and Act 3 as much. Well, I memorized what to do for as far as conditions are concerned, but other than that, I memorize... I never really memorized that bit. Anyway, whoa! Uh oh. Yeah, so. Don't be surprised they started looking around for Magurus Orb. Amazing. You guys know where the Magurus Orb is? And yes, please comment if I miss a Magurus Orb. I am dead serious. So that way, next time I play this game, I will remember. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be missing something. The only thing I know is that the Pagoras Orbs uh, in this area are... You can only get through Humble Bird. Jeez, you can't surprise me. In fact, I surprise you. That's just how I roll, baby. Deal! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just die. Could use Vulcan Fury, but I didn't feel like it. Whatever. So it's now we get to the right. biggest twist in the game. No, like, or at least one of the biggest twists. Huh? Yeah. What? How? When? Where? Why? We're in the future, Dax. This, this horrible place, place is our, our, our world. world. I thought he would say that a little bit more dramatically, but... Whatever. We'll get up there later. In the meantime, let's go back to the city. I feel like as if I am missing a Pokemon Sword. At least one in this area. I don't know. It, it, it's just me. I, I'm probably right, but at the same time, I'm probably wrong, so. So I'm just gonna retrace my steps. This one, I got a Pokemon Sword on this mission. Yeah, but I'm, I don't know. Could be. I'm not sure. I think you need to go back to the city, Jack. I know. I'm just taking the uh, the ladder route. Don't worry, Dad. We'll make it there. We will destroy this wall later. Woo ha ha ha! Uh. And there goes the garbage man. Uh. We're rolling on. I have no. I have no idea what time we're rolling on. On this. Ugh. Oh, sorry about that. Only on 18 minutes. Okay. I think we have enough for one more mission. I think for four. Yeah, for four. I don't know. I'm so far away from my TV that. What do you gotta do around this place to get Oh yes. Yes, we're gonna finally see the shadow after two after one boring escort mission and one yeah, semi-interesting mission just to find out where we are. We finally get to see the shadow! Ooh, I hope he's tall, dark, and handsome. No, wait. That's what Pearl wants to date. I hope the shadow's a woman. I don't know. I already know who Shadow is, so... Who is? It's a powerful energy. Yeah, we won't get there until Act 3, no, so... you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble. Oh, oh no, not, not you. you! Welcome to our humble underground movement. Uh, I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samus. And you are... Shady. 
Jack. Hey. We went through all that to be his holiness. Old Warren in the head, Grandpa Green. Now, when I first saw this, I actually thought that uh, during the two years, Samuels actually did like grow up hair. How is this possible? We can't hair, like around him, and started running this underground fleet that only lasted for less than two years. Yeah, that's what I thought. But then again, at the same time I thought he just had amnesia, and he wasn't remember stuff. Well, until I realized the paradox behind it, and I'm like, okay, that, that makes more sense. Okay. And the more I played this, the more I'm like, should I play the Precursor Legacy? I, I, I know I'm going over all this little dialogue thing. thing. Why is it? If, if you're watching Let's Play and the people do not talk during the cutscenes, scenes, if you like doing that, then be my guest. But I like talking during cutscenes. It, it, it makes me makes me still know that, um, that at least I didn't like abandon and then just go black out. I don't know what I'm talking about here. And I have no idea what mission to do. Oh, right. That would be See it, bro. Oh! I know exactly what we're doing. Wait. Is that what we're doing? Maybe. I'm not sure. Like I said, you didn't remember I too much. Gotta make sure that I at least know. No, I don't see it. I'm starting to question doing a mini so where I do the mission. Seems like it's not even real. Since I only did like, what, once or twice? So. I, I might just, just put it in the video. Yay, then after that, we'll get the other composer orders. Or is that require jet board assistance? Move it! You're right. So the weird dude is not following the hover zones at a speed. Could that be the guy you're looking for? Yeah, that, that's probably the guy we're looking for. Never! Well, until that time, but then I had to make a abrupt U-turn! Run! Yes, I'm on the run! I'm having so much fun in a speeder. You're just a bunch of pumpkin eaters. Wow, I'm riding the worst at Shaquille O'Neal and Shazam. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, um. Wow, it's your poor dog. I call shotgun. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just end it off here, and uh, ah, dingo, it's dark. So I'm just gonna end it off here and uh, see you guys in the uh, next episode of Let's Play Jack Two on Hero Mode. Sorry, this couldn't be any more exciting since we're starting Act Two.